Hi guys. So today we are going to be talking about something that is so, so important. I feel like all the videos I'm always saying this is so, so important, but this one is, uh, it is just not understanding how important this is just means that you know, you are not going to get a return on investment on your training program. And the concept is really simple and it's been around for a long, long time. So the dude that first came up with this was born in the 1850s and the, the piece of research actually came out in the 1880s. OK, a guy called Herman Ebenhaus. And what he did is he basically conducted a piece of research that plotted how quickly we forget things. And he simply called this model the forgetting curve. And this is it. So by looking at it, we can see that the information that we retain slowly leaks out of our brain unless it is reinforced. That's simply what this is telling us. OK, so I don't know how many of you out there are responsible for training programs and perhaps you put one together. You've created a piece of e-learning. You've pushed that piece of e-learning through your LMS to all your people around the world. And what's happened is you have got zero change in behavior. OK, that is because of this interesting piece of research, the forgetting curve, because what's happened is, is that you're seeing the learning event as one moment in time. And by delivering that piece of content, yeah, or by delivering that message, be it, you know, in the real world or, or online, doesn't make any difference. The reality is, is that within seven days, most of it will have been completely forgotten. So in order to get your training to actually make a meaningful impact from the get go, we need to be planning how we are going to fight the forgetting curve. And that is all about reinforcement and repetition. OK, so there's a lots of stuff that I've talked about in the in, in the videos um, about how we get people engaged over a period in order to actually change behavior. But if we don't understand the power of the forgetting curve, what we will end up doing is we will end up delivering training programs that we think are changing behavior and we think are delivering a return on investment. But actually nothing will happen because people have forgotten what we taught. So what we must do is we must little and often repeat yeah, and follow up on that training in order to deliver that all important return on investment. So the forgetting curve is something that we need to think about from the conception of when we are asked to deliver out a training course. There is no point in delivering a piece of e-learning on information security once a year. It will not change behavior. The only thing that will change behavior yeah, and make an impact in the real world is repeated little and often reminders. And why? Because of this cheeky little fella, the forgetting curve. So let's keep coming back to the idea that first and foremost, let's not forget the forgetting curve. And then let's start planning our learning, uh, our learning programs. OK, I hope that was useful. Cheers. Bye. Hi, guys. My name's Juliet Denny and um, I'm from a company called Growth Engineering. I hope that you enjoy these videos. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. Um, I also hope that you comment and you give us some questions because otherwise, how am I going to know what you want to learn about in future? So I want your comments and I want your feedback. And then most importantly, it would be really great if you could subscribe to the channel. And then when I'm delivering out new content and hopefully I'm asking, uh, answering questions that you guys have asked me, you'll know when I post another video. So thank you very much. And thank you for being part of my learning tribe.